Hi guys, welcome to the latest external walk around video of our new High Country series. Uh, this fan is the first in our High Country off-road series. This is a 14 foot van um, and it is packed full of goodies. Starting with the first van as standard with an aluminium frame and a honeycomb floor. Not only is it lightweight with the honeycomb floor and the aluminium frame, but it's also got a sandwich panel, high density foam roof. So it's totally insulated. So when you're in that hot summer sun, this is the band to be in to keep you cool, like being in an esky. Um, not only is it lightweight and robust, it's also sitting on the tough ride level four airbag suspension so you're gonna have a smooth ride no matter where you take this van the other thing you'll notice a little different about the other vans in the range is that x plate in lieu of the checker plate all down the sides fronts and back just to give it a really nice smooth look matched up with the gray composite panel and the red decals I think it's come up a treat. The other thing you'll notice on this van are those side intrusion bars there on both sides of the van, just to finish the van off and give you added protection there. Tires on the van are the Mudzilla tires, so you've got um, plenty of grip there when you're off the beaten track. Moving around to the front of the van, um, like all the vans in our range, it's got an extended A-frame. We've put the GAC Plus Toolbox, which is the largest of the GAC Toolbox range. And if you're not familiar with the GAC Toolbox, you've got a big slide for a 40 litre car fridge on one side. You've got storage up above. And you have a generator slide on the roadside there with jerry can holders each side stone guard mesh like all the australis is in the range there do35 hitch with a reversing camera and a bar light on the front and the rear there the other thing you'll notice in this toolbox like all the vans in our range it has the diesel heater as standard there as i mentioned before you've got a nice big tunnel boot um, on the door side uh, the annex side you've got two tunnel boots uh, one will have a slide out kitchen and the other have a flow through tunnel boot and a nice big wide door here on the roadside so for those larger items you're needing to store in there so as you can see heaps and heaps and heaps of storage under that east west bed which you'll see once i take you inside um, this van is packed with a lot of features probably more than what you could possibly imagine all wrapped into a nice neat 14 foot easy to tow van so um, in terms of uh, off-grid ability this particular van we've managed to fit three solar panels up on the roof they're 210 watts each so you've got 630 watts of solar up on the roof we've got a 2600 anodrive inverter and a dc to dc charger to keep it charged when you are hooked up to your tow vehicle that's backed up by two 200 amp lithium batteries on the chassis so and we've even got an extra innocent plug if you want to plug a portable solar panel as well too which is all standard there's the controller for your airbag suspension. It's all nice and neat in its own locker. So as I mentioned, this is the Tough Rider Level 4 airbag suspension. So this is the top of the range. This is fully automatic and it comes with a remote control. So once you're finished with your campsite setup, you're able to just flick it into auto and it'll bring you back to the normal travel height level. Um, like all the vans in our range, it comes standard with a external shower and two water tanks at the front 
and one at the back. With the quick fill connection, you can fill up your water tanks there via a mains pressure, or if you're off grid, you can fill it up via jerry cans using the normal water filler system. The other thing standard on this van is the Gerhardt instant hot water system. So you're never gonna, providing you don't run out of water, you can have endless showers in this van now, not worry about running out of water. Panning around to the back of the van, you can see we've added two spare tires on the back. So these are the Mudzilla tires, as I mentioned earlier, so giving you that really nice off-road look. Um, and above that, you will see the bar light and the reversing camera. As I mentioned earlier, I believe this fan is standard with an electric awning. So this is the carefree electric awning. So at a touch of a button, all you need to do is just push and it rolls out. It's also got a barrel light, uh, an LED barrel light at the end. So for additional light there at the touch of a switch. Underneath the awning, you've got two anti-bug lights and you've also got one over your tunnel boot as well too. This van comes standard with the Swift Alfresco kitchen. So this particular one here has a sink with a flick mixer and it's also got a bar hooded barbecue with a hot plate and you've also got gas burners underneath. So you can remove the gas plate and put a kettle on there if you wish. You've got external speakers with a picnic table and you've also got an entertainment locker. So if you want to watch TV under your awning, you can remove your TV, just click it onto that V bracket, plug it in, and away you go to watch TV here outside. We've also added an extra bar light um, on uh, each side of the van there. So if you need extra light to uh, light up your campsite when you are in remote areas, um, you've got that extra bar light. So front, rear, and each side. So I think you'll agree this van really has everything you could possibly ever want in an off-road van. If you like what you see, uh, please head to our website and make an inquiry. I'll take you through the inside there.